hello. Um, I want to show you my newest project, uh, an engine management system designed for the Porsche 928. The early versions, the, um, the one that originally had the Cagetronic injection. The aim of this uh, system or kit is to um, replace the Cagetronic uh, with respect to originality, um, with respect to the, the identity of the car. Um, of course, um, with uh, as little effort as possible. Uh, that's why the kit includes everything, even the bolts, the adapters, the sensors, the injectors, the ECU, the tune inside the ECU is what I'm currently working on. So you will also get that. So it comes pre-tuned um, and ready to go. So um, how does this system work and what is it exactly? Um, it's a um, fully fledged uh, EFI system. Um, it, it's controlled by an ECU, uh, which I've uh, hid um, instead of the um, original um, ignition box. Now, bear in mind, this is a, the prototype car, and uh, this is, uh, you know, the, the, the point of this uh, is not necessarily to look pretty. So you might have seen some wires like this which are not yet uh, covered it's because i'm still testing some um, uh, arrangement and um, aligning the lengths of the wires so that everything fits perfectly onto these cars but of course the the final product will be completely invisible or so that's the the goal right so um like i was saying the whole thing is co controlled by an ecu which replaces the ignition box so you remove that you tuck the connector out of the way there's an adapter plate you mount the new ecu you plug in the connector and you route the the, the new wiring harness which is also included in the kit uh, the ecu controls uh, these coils right and these coils are placed in such a way that you can reuse your original leads right either old or new i reuse the old ones but you can buy new ones uh, specifically for your car and they, they will fit. You don't have to buy like custom or make your custom uh, leads. The ECU also controls these modern injectors, right? Which are um, uh, controlled through the wiring harness uh, by the ECU. Um, and these injectors are fed from the fuel distributor uh, in, in the back. So the this ca these cars, originally have a mechanical fuel distributor and a mechanical fuel injection. I've replaced the fuel distributor with a modern fuel distributor, which I designed. It's basically a fuel rail in the shape of, the, of uh, a fuel distributor, which bolts on below the um, air filter, like the original one. So the architecture, the layout is exactly the same as the original car. Uh, you get even these, um, yeah, these fuel lines uh, also included in the kit, right? So you don't even get uh, modern-looking um, fuel rails and the colored stuff. Uh, I don't like that. Yeah, so um, the system reads um, um, some data. Uh, here's a sensor for the manifold. It re also reads, reads vacuum directly. Uh, there's a coolant temperature here. Uh, now, the, the, the car originally has the coolant temperature sensor here, which feeds the dash. So I've replaced that with uh, the one for the EFI because it's the best place to get it. So if um, for, the, for the dash, you'll have to move the, the sensor from here uh, in the pl um, into the place of the, um, yeah, that one, the thermo switch. So the, um, you remove the thermo switch which was used for the fifth injector and uh, you move the original temperature sensor there and here you just use the EFI temperature sensor. So yeah, there's some details like uh, a cap for the distributor or where the distributor was. Um, there's a custom pulley, right, with a trigger wheel 
um, and the custom bracket there, which holds um, um, a sensor, right? Which reads the engine speed and the engine position. Yeah, and uh, so the, the ECU reads all that in, in your inputs and controls the, the engine, uh, you know, in, in a modern fashion. Um, I'll walk over to my 924 and show you the, um, the fuel distributor and how the system looks for the 924 in a minute. Um, like I said, I've d designed these and I've done these uh, these things for the 924, uh, for the 924 supercharged and the 924 turbo before uh, doing the 928. So, yeah. All right. Thanks. So I was speaking about the fuel distributor earlier. This is how it looks. <clears throat> this is on my 924. It's a very similar system as I showed you earlier on the 928. There's the fuel distributor, the fuel in, the fuel out. There's the uh, integrated um, regulator and then the fuel lines, more or less the same, but just different lengths, um, you know, going to the injectors. Of course, the the seats and straps, um, the securing straps are different for the 924 compared to the 928. <clears throat> but the 924 also has like a custom pulley. Okay, this is a, also um, a supercharged car. Well, not right now, but will be in a, uh, after the engine break in. So yeah, uh, you also see a glimpse of the 924 system. <clears throat>